Hello everyone, my name is Colin, and welcome to the first episode of a game that I have been meaning to play for ages now. That is Amnesia the Dark Descent. If you don't know what it is, it's basically uh, sort of, uh, I don't want to say scripted, but it's like a horror game uh, with corridor-based levels that you have to progress through to get out of this uh, sort of uh, creepy castle dealio we got going on here. So, I've actually played about... Oh, I want to say an hour and a half-ish of the single player um, without recording, just to kind of get the hang and feel of it. Um, and I gotta say, it is pretty spooktacular. <laughs> um, I actually did a stream on Twitch.tv the other day um, that lasted about an hour, so that was a good chunk of my first Amnesia venture. Um, if you want to go watch that uh, recording, it should still be in my past broadcasts on twitch.tv slash Nylockster. I believe that's the URL. Um, but for our Let's Play server, or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> for our for the purpose of our Let's Play, we're just going to start a completely new game. So you guys can see all the spooks from the very beginning. So let's get straight into it here and load up a new game. Ooh. Spooky. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Mayfair. Mayfair. <laughs> what have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... I am Daniel. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'm just going to wake up here in this kind of nasty looking room. It's crummy outside. Very crummy outside. And there's water leaking everywhere. <laughs> um, actually, when I was checking out that cutscene, I don't think the sound was quite loud enough, so we're gonna bump it up a couple notches. That seems more immersive. That works. Um, the cool thing about Amnesia is that, um, like this is a door, and you can tell you can open it because of that little pan symbol right there. To open it, you have to click it, and then make a motion with your mouse to open it. So, like, I had to push my mouse forward in a, a forward motion to open that. Um, so you do that with opening little chests um, and doors and all that stuff. And I think the purpose the developer intended that to serve is um, if you're kind of in a spooky situation and you're trying to get out fast, it makes it harder for you. Um, because you actually have to take the time and open the door manually. Oh, I'm kind of like falling off to the side right now. Whoa! I guess you don't want me going out there. <laughs> what are we... Oh, Spooky. Oh, and there's these uh, covered things you can hide in too. So, what do we have in here? Anything good? Um, these things I'm picking up right now, these are just... Uh, they're called tinder boxes. Pretty self-explanatory. They light up little lamps like that uh, that you can use to light up really dark areas. So it's good to conserve them and uh, kind of decide where you want to use them because at one time you're only going to have so many of them. So that's my little speech on tinder boxes. <laughs> I don't like the beginning part of this game just because I, uh, you're kind of lopsided. At the beginning, and I'm kind of just hear footsteps. I'm kind of OCD about not being like straight. Like this is fine, but if like I veer off to the side randomly, then I kind of get bugged by that. Oh, oh, yeah, like this. I do not like. Do not want. Do not want. <laughs> do not want. Do not want the lopsided or the monster. <laughs> uh, do we have anything of use in here? Hello, Mr. Knight. I'm going to throw your head. 
How did you like that, Mr. Knight? There's another tinder box. Oh, um, and if you're kind of seeing the screen kind of fish-eyeing right now, um, that is my sanity level. Um, basically, if I'm in the dark for too long, then I, uh, I kind of go insane. So I need to keep the area I'm in lit up, which is the whole point of like, the tinder boxes, and eventually I'll get uh, a lantern with oil. Getting out of there now. <laughs> How many I got? I got. Oh, I got five tinder boxes already. Nice. Can't pick that up. What do we have down here? The old archives. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just like the ones at the consulate. Constantinople, which, if you don't know, is also Istanbul. I'm a, I'm kind of a little geography freak and history. I love both of them a lot. Um, if you're kind of wondering about the setting, whoa, Mr. Book, defend me, defend me. I don't know what's going on. Um, the setting is a castle in. You know, I can't actually remember the exact location. It'll probably tell me a little bit in where I am exactly. Um, oh, that is disgusting. Um, but it's the first half of the 1800s, I believe. And, uh, I'm somewhere in Europe. I don't remember the exact country. Maybe it was Romania. I can't quite remember, though. It's somewhere in Eastern Europe, I believe. Kind of creepy castle vibe. What do we got? Blocked off over there. Okay, so. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Help me, lantern! Help me! It's spooky! Spooky! So, uh, now that I got my lantern, I can use that to kind of bring light with me. Um, and then that is my oil level, which will basically tell me how much oil I have left and how long I can use that lamp or the lantern. Very spooky. So, there's a room up ahead right here where it actually took me a little bit to figure this room out because, or not this one, but the next one after this, because there's like a secret door and I actually had to go Google. I was like, what the heck, guys? It's like, there's no way out of here. Is this the end of the game? And they're like, no, 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 it's, it's a secret door. And I was like, oh, it's dark in here. <laughs> I couldn't see it. Something along those lines. So these are little pieces of my own diary written to myself, and uh, I'll just let myself speak. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits, and murder him. Your former and that's self, where the uh, title Daniel. of the game comes from. Because we have to descend down into the deepest inner part of the castle, which is, um, I don't know if he said it yet, but it's the name of the castle is Brandenburg, or Brandenburg. Can't quite remember if there's a D in there or not. But this is the room that was tricking me up earlier, and if you actually look on the wall over here, there's a, there's a lever-looking thing. And secret passageway. It's like something out of Scooby-Doo or something. <laughs> which will take me to the entrance hall. Okay. 
The other children cheered him on. His voice... Er, wow, I already screwed that up. His name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. I haven't quite figured out what those loading screens are... How they pertain to the story. Um, I'm not sure if they're talking about me, Daniel, the main character. But Alexander, surely talking about the someone castle? related to the plot. In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most you. precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. I shall call it... In fact. Wall it of Flesh. Beneath the very stone Goodbye, of Wall of Brennenberg. Flesh. Oh, Brennenberg. No D. Okay. So, I need to dissolve that. So, I need to go find a way to dissolve that particular Wall of Flesh to get to the next area. Um... I think this is the front entrance, but it's not going to let me go. You know, something tells me that uh, the wall of flesh kind of likes me in here. And I don't like that. I do not like that at all. So we have a couple rooms we can explore. Um, the first one down here on our left, I believe this is the laboratory? No, the wine cellar. We've got the wine cellar there. I believe this is the laboratory. Yes. Um, and then up there, I believe, is a sort of a, a history book sector. And if I recall correctly, I think we need to go in here first. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she, too, would be punished. And thus the spookiness begins. Ow. I really shouldn't... Ow. Wow. I am stupid. <laughs> you're not supposed to, um... I guess you're not supposed to jump off stuff like that. Mm. Come here, oil. I need you for later. So I can actually pull out my lantern start exploring this area for supplies. I'll actually go ahead and light a candle over here. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most, most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in the storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. So, essentially what I need to do is I need to get some... What was that? I don't know what you are, but you're spooky and you should stay out there. Um, basically, I need to get four chemicals and brew them together because I'm magic like that and I can go dissolve the wall of flesh. There should be more Cooperite. Cooperite? Let me see. Of me course. See. How could I and forget Cooperite? Aquafortis. And Aquafortis. Of course, of course. Um, so I think this is the... Yes, this is the list of what I need. I need Calamine, Orpiment, Cooperite, and Aqua Regia to... Yeah, instead of Aquafortis. I need those four chemicals, and, uh, yeah. What is an- ooh, hidden tinderbox. I am just amazing, aren't I? Not gonna lie, I'm pretty spooked right now. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I'll stay over here by the light where it's nice. Nice and insane. Okay. I think I'm going to have to end the episode here, guys, but I want to thank you so much for watching. If you want to see some more of this content, 
uh, leave a like or comment to let me know I'm doing the right thing, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's how I phrase it. Um, it also gives me feedback, and that feedback lets me improve my channel and the content I put out, and I want to make what's entertaining for you guys. So, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.